Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Compared to that of aluminum glass, blank, silica glass atoms are so far apart that they are unable to reform bonds after being separated. So a key point here is that after the comma, the subject or noun should be placed immediately after to specify what that subject or noun is of the sentence. So option A says, Silical glass is at a significant disadvantage due to its more dispersed atomic arrangement. So this is incorrect because this implies the subject or noun is silical glass, but instead it's silical glass's atomic arrangement. So A is incorrect. B. Silica glass has a more dispersed atomic arrangement, resulting in a significant disadvantage. This is incorrect for the same reason as A, because it should be silica glass's atomic arrangement, not silica glass. So B is incorrect. C. A significant disadvantage of silica glass is that its atomic arrangement is more dispersed. This is incorrect for the same reason as B and A, where it should be place, it should have a silica glass's atomic arrangement right after the comma, but instead it has something else, resulting in a dangling modifier. So C is incorrect. D. Silica glass's atomic arrangement is more dispersed, resulting in a significant disadvantage. This seems, this is correct because it properly compares alumina glass's atomic arrangement to silica glass's atomic arrangement, and it clearly establishes that silica glass atomic arrangement is the noun or subject of the sentence. So D is correct.